This is the animation that we are going to recreate today. It's animation in Magnets Media style that looks premium, but it's really simple to recreate in DaVinci Resolve. I saw this video of a guy creating it in After Effects, so I decided to bring it over to my DaVinci fam. So let's jump right into it. Okay, first thing that we're gonna go, we're gonna go to this corkscrew right here and in our timeline frame rate, we're gonna change it to 30 frames per second and then just hit save. Let's click save changes. Okay, now that we are in, let's go in our effect and get our fusion composition in. So let's click on our fusion composition and let's jump right into it. Oh, of course, assets will be down in the description, but just keep in mind that I downloaded these assets from the guy creating this animation in After Effects, so these are not my assets. But since he was sharing them for free, I thought why not share it with you guys as well. So let's go right into our media pool. So let's get our sky in like this. So let's rename it so we know what we're working with. Sky. Okay, then we are gonna add our image plane. So this button right here, just click it and it will add an image plane. Next, we're gonna add merge 3D, the, this right here, so just click it. Then we're gonna add our camera 3D, so click this right here. And for the last thing that we need is render 3D, which is right here, so let's add it in. Let's connect it to the media out, but now we don't see anything, so let's get our the viewer right in and let's add our merge right here so you just click on your merge and then drag it to the viewer so now we have something like this okay so we don't see anything right here in our media out output because our camera is right inside our sky so all we have to do is bring it a bit back to somewhere around here for now Okay, next thing that we are going to add is this buildings. So let's rename it. Again, we are going to need our image plane. So let's add that and let's connect it to our merge 3D. Now we have something like this. Why is this happening? Because right now they're on the same Z plane. So we want our sky to be behind these buildings. So let's go to our sky image plane. Let's go to transform and in the Z translation, we are going to type in minus 0 0.001. And now it is behind it. Okay, next thing that we are going to do, we are going to scale up our sky background to somewhere around here. Okay, let's go to our buildings image plane. Let's go to transform. Again, we can scale this up as well. And just bring it down a little bit so somewhere around here. This looks nice. Okay, right here we have this tree. So let's add our screen. Let's rename it. Just press F2 and you can rename your node. So this tree. Again, we are going to need an image plane. So let's add it in and connect it to our merge 3D. Now we have our scene looking like this again. So we want this tree to be in front of our building. So let's go to the tree's image plane and just type in on the Z translation, just add zero and one. So 0 0.001. And now it looks like this. So what we are going to do, we are going to scale it down to somewhere around here. And then we are going to bring it right over the side like this. And we can put a bit down so it looks something like this now now we have to add these three businessmen so this is the main one he will be in front so this businessman main let's add this one this will be businessman one and this will be businessman two Okay, now that we have added all of them in, let's bring them over to this side, like this, and on the main one, so just click on every single one and add an image plane in. Let's get our image planes to this side. And then we can connect them all to our merge 3D. Okay, now 
of course now they look something like this but let's click on our image plane for our main businessman and bring him out like this then we can click on the second image plane of businessman one and bring him out to somewhere around here and then we can adjust him to be on the right side right here and our last businessman we can get out a little bit and then bring him back over to this side right here so next thing that we are gonna do we are gonna scale them down so let's go to the image plane of our main businessman and scale him down to 0 0.5 something like this should be okay and let's do the same for all of them okay now that we have done this we can actually adjust them a bit more so let's go to the main businessman and bring him out just a little bit more and get him down a bit to somewhere around here let's go to the second one and then we can adjust his position to somewhere around here and then we can adjust his z a bit too to somewhere around here and then on our y just bring him down to right here we can go to minus 0 0.1 it works okay so let's go to our third business businessman and let's adjust his position as well so minus 0 0.1 and now it all looks something like this which i think looks really good so now if you play it we will see just the sky moving behind them which is okay so let's go back to frame zero and let's get our camera node down right here the next thing that we are going to do is click on our camera node and just press shift plus space to open this up and then we are going to type in transform and add this transform 3d okay now that we have our transform 3d we are going to go somewhere around frame 60 and we are going to hit, hit the keyframes on y and z so let's go back to frame zero and hit the key frames on y and z also so now on frame zero we are gonna actually adjust our z value to somewhere around here and adjust our y value to be a bit to somewhere around here so now when we play it it looks something like this so now with our transform selected we will open our spline and select this transform right here in the left side and then we are gonna click this button that means zoom to fit and when we have zoomed it to fit we are gonna go select all this button right here we are gonna press s and then we are gonna press t on our keyboard to adjust ease in and ease out so let's adjust these into somewhere around here. So let's see how does it look now. Yeah, this looks a lot better. So now that we are done with this spline, what we can do actually is click on our render 3D and then hit shift and space together and type in vignette just right here. And we can go on frame 60 and keyframe it once and on frame 70 we can keyframe it once again and on frame 70 our keyframe is gonna be we can go with 0.65 somewhere around here is good and let's go to frame first keyframe of the vignette and in our size we are just gonna increase it to max so right now we don't see anything and as it goes we are gonna see this darkening right around them and for the last thing we can go to our render 3d right here go to our settings and then here that sets motion blur just enable our motion blur and pump up a quality 
a bit and shutter angle we can set it to 10. so now when it detects movement there will be this motion blur happening right here and it makes the whole animation look a lot better so there it is a quick and simple animation in magnets media style that looks premium but it's very easy to do in davinci resolve and if you want to learn a more advanced magnets media edits in davinci resolve then this video right here is for you